Hello guys and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 and today we're helping Pan Am. Yes, we're gonna help her out, try and continue that romance, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens. She needs help though, so we're gonna offer to help. No, the rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every v, half. you're here. Of What is he doing here? I I'm forbade here you to from help. even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly Whoa. why I had me come and stand right in front of you. What do you think I really I'm... think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance of what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. He's actually going to approve it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contracted withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. I mean, they're nomads. They don't serve with these corporate scum. No, no, no. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country. Somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Um, let me guess. Your idea, right? Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? <laughs> Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Paul, Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time for the family. Right, so what's the plan then? What Is are we going to do? Is Basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Okay, um, I thought you two were going to get along now. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I, but it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life, yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. Okay, so what's the plan? And you plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. I didn't say... Okay, I guess we're going along with this right now. Okay. Fair enough. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, famous we'll last be words. doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, um, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn that short, again, where I can't select the dialogue pertinent. I want to select. None of that Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back, 
Nobody would have given corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Okay, I'm in. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? I'm riding with you. Riding with you. Always. Excellent. Let's get going. Pan Am. Let's do this. With a little help from my friends. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Let's get are this done. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even am. We're back in the car again with Pan Am, of course. <laughs> it didn't take too long, did it? I mean, this quest has been available for a while, but I've been a little bit busy with Johnny. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. <laughs> you had someone? A true yeah. friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie, I remember that. Can we see it yet? Have we arrived? We have arrived. We have arrived. Good. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? No, I think I'm good. Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Let's get it done. So first we need a code to get this back online. How we do that, I don't know. Ooh, I can get in there. Easy. Open sesame. Huh, that was quick. It was. I have impressive skills. Um, talk to the nomad. Uh, the, the, the nomads. Sorry, I can't speak properly. Should I speak to them? Have they gone? Let's set to work. Hello, uh, nomads. <laughs> what are you two doing? Chilling. I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. Well, Teddy is just being dead weight. Great. Love to join you. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Right, let's just Once get in you have both, I'm ready. Real power. I don't want to mess about. The stairs it is, then. Yeah. Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. I can see his face already. 
Yeah, either way, he's not going to be impressed, is he? Well done. Thanks, boys. Right, we are almost there. Do we know what the code is? Ah. I've always been fond oh. of trains. More stairs. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Do we go up again, or...? Carol! Yo. What are we looking for? Punch cards! What cards? Punch cards. Sure thing. I've already started. Nada. Aha! I think I've got it. Do we pick it up? Did I pick that up or not? Hmm. Oh. Well, well, well. He said nada, as in like, no. <laughs> not the right item. Pan Am, I got them! Okay, it must be here Quickly somewhere. check. The messages? Look thoroughly, please. Well, that's a bad message. Okay, great. Nothing really useful. Got something. Found it. Good job. I just got lucky. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, you got it! The card in the reader? And then punch it. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Is it working? <laughs> oh, what? yes! Come look! Little engine that could. Not bad, not bad. It actually worked. V, I wanted to speak with you. What's up? What do you want to talk about? Oh, that's pretty a bit strong, actually. Yeah. What did you want to Play talk cool. about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... but what is why it? are you doing this? Ooh. Uh, I want to see how it plays out. Not doing it for free. Um, I know it's important to you. This, this isn't about money. I'm not doing it for that. Because it's important to you. But is that all? I, Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. So far, so good. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Um, don't feel any impulse one way or another now, Shane. Um, why is it different with me? You could feel that random impulse right now, potentially. Don't feel any impulse at all right now? Shane, I was hoping you did. I do. But I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Ooh. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. I don't think I screwed that up. Can't tell. Women are difficult, okay? Really hard. Convoy. Tricky. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. 
But basically what she was saying is she's having feelings for V, but she doesn't want to wreck it. Doesn't want to use her impulses too much and say the wrong thing. She's overthinking, basically. We said, let her impulses go free. In do it. Just do what you want. Hello, so. Oh, no. Oh. I'm not her babysitter. He knows. Uh oh. Tell her what? Tell her I'm looking for her. Oh, great. Fantastic. Uh, how about... No, I won't tell her. She's her own woman. She's a nomad, for Christ's sake. Let it go. Ooh, a little fire. We could still Sit your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Should I sit as well? I could just stand. Or we could sit. <laughs> uh, hurry up and wait. Are you worried about Saul? You worried about Saul? She's very chilled. I like you're it. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. What if I feel like Saul's gonna turn up? <sighs> Was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Well, that's been messed up. A drink to Scorpion. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. And a jack. To Scorpion. And to Jackie, nice Pan Am. I appreciate that. You don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water. Because your Gaga wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Ooh. Ooh. Do we play this a bit? I don't know what to do here. Uh. Growing kind of cold out here. I think that was okay. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while. Fireside. Gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. What? Good night, B. Seems to be going okay. Thumbs up. Don't screw it up, Scott. Uh. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? 
Ooh. Let's run. A mattress. Well, a sleeping bag. Let's go. You ready? I've got quite the team here. Feeling quite confident. I am why we're going to lose somebody. And then Sol turns up and it's all Pan Am's fault. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm predicting. All right. She's moving. Get her up to speed. There it is. Kaboom! They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Wait! No coming and hauling! Take out that coupler! Hey, shoot there you yeah. go. Is that enough? Hoping that's enough. I see them. Surround them as soon as they're cut off. Here come the drones. Woo! Goodbye, drones. Oh, Shut there it is. Me. See it. Grenade. What's that grenade doing? I don't know what one I selected. It didn't seem to explode though. Cover me, reloading! Yep, this is Johnny Silverhand's weapon. And I love it. Stay down, fool. We got him! A few more left. Why is everyone just standing there? Oh, I love this weapon. I've wanted it for so long, and now I've got it. Yeah, some of them are just standing there. No. Kind of annoying. I think some backup might have arrived. One second. There's some stuff in here. Yep. Can I get that? Nah, don't get too close. Brace yourselves! Look out behind you. Mitch, oh. Bob, go! All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. That went pretty well. Success! Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. That went perfect. No doubt some backup will arrive. We've still got 1.2 kilometers to go now, so won't be easy. Fuck! It worked! Woo! Of course it did! Just as I said it would! Don't get too excited yet, guys. Long way to go yet. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunger junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. We're gonna get ambushed, surely. No? Hmm. That went too well. Guess not. I mean, the turret is currently malfunctioned, so we can't use that. Okay, I just lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. Yeah, or they're planning something.
we actually made it. Wow. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I can talk to him if you want. Nothing. Oh yeah. I'll take so. care of this myself. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Should we go meet him? You coming? I guess I'm doing it myself. Fuck! Oh. So okay, he's coming. Don't worry. He is angry. Aquaman, calm down. Chill. Breathe. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but... Then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. <sighs> Gee, do not mess with Pan Am. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V, I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. All right. It's done for now. Oof! That got a little bit heated, didn't it? That really did. Oh, can I get in there? Oh. Is that Queen of the Highway? Ah. Wait a day. Should we do that? Oh, this car. It's an off-road beast! Ooh. Okay. It is a boss. Off-roading. Looks cool as well. Right, we're gonna wait a day. And we're gonna do Queen of the Highway, which I'm hoping is Pan Am. I hope. V, thanks for having my back. Uh, that shouting match between me and Soul. I was so livid, I can't even remember what I said. I just hope you didn't catch any stray venom because of me. And nothing about what I told you made you feel a little uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Um, everything's fine with me. Everything's good. Is she going to reply to that? It's just, you know, this is awkward. This is like a very awkward, like, they don't, they, they know they like each other, but they're not quite, yeah. But a bit awkward in social environments, I guess. I don't know. I was hoping she was going to call now, but... Got nothing yet. She should call soon, hopefully. Um, well, so do I. I'm just waiting for the right moment. Ah, uh, The one we had by the fire wasn't right enough. I mean, people were there, honestly. I'm not trying to put any pressure on you, or, or wait, should I? I don't know. Okay, I mentioned the fire. I guess that's the best response. If there's people there. It would have been awkward. I'm just getting warmed up. I'll see you soon. All right. Pan Am! Hey, there it's she ready. is. Would you like to drive it? I would love to. Sure thing. Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear. Let's do it. Right. What we're going to do is do a separate save. I'm... Because it's getting towards the sort of latter part of the game in some aspects, um, I don't want to sort of end it without. Not yeah, I basically want to sometimes go back and sort of see if I can do uh, quests a different way or whatever.
This is one of those situations. Queen of the Highway. We're going to absolutely control that epic beast. They built it in 24 hours. It's actually pretty impressive. And this car off road is incredible. It barely even hesitates over the bumps. Impressive. Whoa, it's like a floating tank. Wow. Nice job, guys. Ah, shit. Oh. Oh, little relic malfunction again. Again, it's happening quite a lot. Actually, I might go to the the Ripper Dock. See if he's got any good upgrades for me. I want to get myself chipped. Straight to the point. Yeah. I like it. Can I have a look? So we currently have... Uh, 24,000, which is not too bad. Do you have any legs for me? Uh, come on, man. How much money do you need? This is getting ridiculous. Frontal cortex. I need reflexes of 10 to get that. Increased damage to drones, mechs and robots by 20%. Pretty good. It's not too expensive. Um... Yeah, go for it. Why not? Done. Uh, anything else to the skeleton? Oh, what does that do? Increase health by 30%. That's a lot. I'm doing it. I've done it. So I've got 13,000 left. Uh, nervous system. What is this? Allows you to aim and shoot while dodging. I think I've... I mean, tempted to buy that before, but I didn't in the end. I think I'll leave it for now. Uh, we may actually have... Oh, these are actually available in terms of, like, we have them. And we can just put them in. Instantly restores 40% of your health when health drops to 15%. That's pretty good. That is very impressive. Activate instantly restore 60% of your max health. Blood pump. Stamina in regen is increased by 10%. I like these two, actually. And in this one as well. We already own those, so they were ready to be put in. Uh, do we own... I know we've got some hands, haven't we? I've got a different tattoo on. Ooh, Johnny's tattoo. So you did pull it on. All right. Interesting. Uh, I don't think we own an operating system. Nope. Frontal cortex? Nope. Immune system? Nope. Nervous system? Nope. I think I'll leave it there. We're going in the right direction. We're doing all right. With the cyberware stuff. Pan Am, I'm ready. Let's do this. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Oh. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the system. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. Are we good to go? And Saul, what about him? Fuming, Nothing, I would imagine. For now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. Of course he does. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. All right, I'm going in. Come to Papa. How do we get in? Oh yeah, oh look at that. Now this is a tank. Of course, I got a little assistant. You good? All right, let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Is this another day? <laughs> it pretty much is, isn't it? It's not a third seat. Oh. Damn it. 
Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything ought to... Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Oh. Good old hit. Always does it, doesn't it? Boom! Wake up, you stupid machine. It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. Do we have to jack ourselves in? Ooh. What do you think? Whoa! Ooh. Nice and cozy nice in here. Nice and cozy in here. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. I like that. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. Ah, so you're the it's gunner, are you? It's pleasant. You'll see. Okay. This will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's jack in. Pan Am, is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Oh, good. Whoa. Okay, I still don't understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry, I'm not gonna watch. You are definitely gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. All right, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. An absolute beast of a machine. Left. Very good. Keep her going. What now? What now? Right. Ugh. I'm driving yes. this over again. That's the way to do it. Can we unlock this as a vehicle? <laughs> Right. Imagine taking this into Night City. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Oh okay. yeah. Stop and I'll activate the system. Do it. What's on the Engine menu? Engine offline. Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. Alright. Blast those wrecks. I like Good. it. Okay, practice is over. V, do you remember what I said about impulses? Mm hmm. Well, watch out now. Is she joining? What's happening? I jacked in. Our nervous systems are now linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That why I'm feeling everything doubled. It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. I can hear shooting Would in the like background. To try it out. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, I could go for that. Can you feel that? <laughs> yeah. What? Honestly, yeah. Uh, Oh, the oh, focus in combat. It's probably not always this intense. How about this?
getting shot at? They found us. We have to get back to camp. They're rapping! Whole group of them ready for a fight! They're here oh, that ruined a good time. What Take the hell out. do we do this with this there? And make yourselves useful. We'll go straight to camp. We have to help the family. Go ahead. Taken out five of the twenty-eight of the ruffians. There's more. Definitely more. That was um. We're almost there. Was he intimate? Okay, I see that. That was definitely an impulse. Okay, V. Let's get to work. So we turned up just in time. Oh. Well, rest in peace, guys. Woo! Is everything? Yes, you turned them to dust. Congratulations. It's time to talk. Ah, Are we getting out then? Yeah. Back to reality. Should we put some clothes on first? I think that might be advisable. Do I have clothes on? I've no. She's got clothes on, I don't. <laughs> Just wearing my boxes. All of us. Each on his or her own. Must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by what? my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family. Not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes. And to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. What? I did not see that coming. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? What a day. She's having such a weird day. All right. Wow. An interesting day. Hmm. I feel as if I've barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. Shit. No, you I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on uh, the Aldecaldas. No squirming. Always. Huh. Good to know. Is there a butt to this? Nobody's or? behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? I will take the beer, beer thank me. you. To happy endings. Yep, I guess so. Um, yeah. Uh, where are you going now, I guess? V? Yeah. I'm gonna miss our escapades. Gonna miss our little escapades. <laughs> Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what are you... Stay in camp. Join us. Uh, 
Damn it. I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. But I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought... Eh, forget about it. <sighs> just... I gotta go and take care of some stuff, I guess. Take care of yourself, Pan Am. Soon. Oh. What happened there? Me? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? Where are we? Where... Where are we? You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Uh, where? We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. You ain't dying yet. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? <sighs> it's just busted tech in my head. Okay, so... You ever hear of the relic? The Arasaka tech? Does something with personalities? I saw the ads. Sounds like some rich people scam, to be honest. It's not bullshit. I've got a biochip in my head with one of those constructs. And the chip's damaged. So take it out! Yeah, it's not quite that easy. Definitely not that simple. Relics also keep me alive, but... So this is cyberpsychosis? Because if it is, I know no, people who... No, no. The chip's data is affecting my neural connections. Got nothing to do with cyberpsychosis. I remove the relic, I die. If I don't deal with the construct, I die. Fuck. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better, really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Um. Thanks, God. I, I gotta be going now. Thanks, Mitch. But I'd better be going. You're barely standing, V. You take care of yourself, okay? Remember. Our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. Then that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. I can appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Want me to walk with you? So their camp's moved. I don't quite... Where are we now? On the map. So we was over here-ish, I believe. Yeah, moved quite far out. Apparently that's now my apartment. Oh. Wow, okay. I know this area. Back from the old roots. You really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. <laughs> hey there. It's obvious that V would drop everything right now. 
and easily become a part of this gang and grab Pan Am and but you know, live a happy life. Here, it but, is temporary. Yeah. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. I recognize that. <laughs> v, back to what we were saying. I will yeah. not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? I get it, I get it. Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Oh, smooch smooch. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. I really hope I really hope they get together, have a happy ending, all's good in the world. I hope. That's that's my goal right now, to get those two together. Johnny's had his life. Johnny's been dead for a long time. Um, we need to get his body back. But that's just how it's got to be. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. A lot happened. Lots of process. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.